For me, I've been part of uh, this chapel since 1999. I started worshipping here um, September 2007. So roughly September this year will be 10 years that I've been in this chapel. I've worshipped with Hospital Chapel for the past 10 years and I've been consistent here. Yes, I've been in this church for 8 years now. While I'm here is that the church is a church that is mission-minded. Actually, I've been a member for the past 17 years by the grace of God and one of the reasons that why we are still here today is just because of the word of God that we are hearing on a daily basis. The hospital chapel is quite a loving family, that's what I describe it. I know it's a fellowship that it just keeps you in check, especially as regards your spiritual life. I have been blessed, in fact I'm, I'm being blessed every day. Here I found fulfillment. I find it as a place that equips me for the work that God has asked me to do and I find other brethren who are ready to do the same. National Hospital Chapel is a very unique one. It's very special because it's not a, 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 a chapel that, uh, that man set up. It's a God that set it up. Uh, everything that happens in this chapel uh, is a miracle. Uh, from inception, uh, it's not by the strength of man. Everything about this chapel has been God and God and God only. You can imagine I burned fuel from 20, about 24 kilometers to this place. When we first came, people were like, ah, why don't you, are there not chapels in Kubwa? Why all the way to hospital chapel? But I want to tell you because I find fulfillment here. I've been so blessed here. The word of God is quick here. We are being given rooms to express our gifts, our talents and the opportunity God has given to us. And the people that God has put in over us, as presiding elder who pass us, they are giving us room too. They are not the type that you have to worship them before you can be given opportunity to offer your service in the church. I, I, when I came here, I discovered another calling that God, you know, placed upon my life, and that's in the adolescent ministry. I've been serving there for almost 10 years now, and I've been fulfilled. I find fulfillment working with the teens. They've been my friends. I learned from them. They learned from me. And for me, while I have chosen to be part of this family of God is that they, they are mission-minded. And I have understanding that if a church is not mission-minded, they are not more or less a social group. When I came into this place, one of the things that really got my attention, first of all, was the fact that, um, you know, it wasn't a denomination. The system is so different. We are all brothers. In the chapel, we have different groups. The main fellowship group, the women fellowship, the youths, the children section. And then we also have the missions unit. We have media. We have the choir and all these it's so that in our different ways we can find expression of primary not just ministry but being who God wants us to be and so true that we can also flow. Our mission statement is building an army of vibrant Christians. People filled with the spirits of God and power, literally living the life of Christ, the word of God, in dignity, integrity, quality, impacting their communities for Christ, as I am a testimony to. There's a banner that God has raised upon this environment, and that banner is that Jesus is Lord and Jesus is going to reign over this place. And um, since we started in 1999, Jesus has been the source, the strength, the power. Uh, the backbone that uh, we, we've, ha we've been having and they still continue with us. The focus in the hospital chapel is on one person and one person alone. And that person is Jesus Christ. So it's a community where the focus is not so much on any human personality. So what we do as much as possible is to expose everyone who come to that one person alone. And we're very sure if you can only connect with Jesus Christ, definitely there will be light. He's the one that cannot fail. Our message is knowing Jesus, 
and making Jesus known. My spiritual yearning, my spiritual desire have been satisfied by the fact that I'm a member of the hospital chapel. Because the entire word of God is being taught. The word of God that we are taught in this place is not that which is filtered. It's not that one that is, um, you know, yes, diluted. In this place, we believe you could come as you are. And uh, God helping our life, we go through all kinds of trainings that pertains to our spiritual life, to our education, to our career, to our finances, to all the things that a young person needs to be equipped with in order to have a fulfilled life. We are prepared for the future which starts now. The future is not actually as long as it seems, it starts now and our preparation for the future will really help us to maximize the opportunities that are there up for us in the future. Our church services and messages deal with different aspects of the world. We deal with family life, we deal with discipleship, we deal with missions, we deal with love, we deal with faith. No matter what you want to cater for in your Christian life, you can find those messages within Hospital Chapel. Whoever wants to please God, whoever wants to get close to God, whoever wants to have a place that there is no pretensions, that you want to love God and be prepared for the rapture, this is a good place. This is one of the best places in Nigeria for you to worship. I want to invite as many people as God as a mark to be part of this movement. Come join with us because the river is flowing. The flood is gathering. The deluge will soon come by the Spirit of God. Our desire, prayer and cry is that His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. His kingdom will be the kingdom that reigns over every heart. The Hospital Chapel, National Hospital Abuja, is located at plot 132, Central Business District of Abuja, within the hospital premises. The desire to be a stronger and a sharper arrow in the quiver of God, please come join with us.